It is hard to separate Sioux Falls from the city's park system. Not only is the city's namesake located in a well-known and often visited park, but a number of other green spaces across the city play big roles in the community. On the night beat, Kelly Lance Dancentella looks ahead to an upcoming Parks and Rec roadmap. Good evening, Dan. Bridget, at tomorrow afternoon's City of Sioux Falls City Council informational meeting, recommendations will be made on a master plan for Sioux Falls Parks and Recreation. Tonight, I sat down with a park development specialist for a preview. Tori Miedema is a park development specialist with the City of Sioux Falls. He explains that tomorrow is about the future. This piece is uh, kind of the big recommendations that our uh, consultants have come up with to, to move our plan forward. A consultant is going to make the preliminary recommendations. Yeah, so basically what you get, you get a snapshot of where we're at right now. Um, and then, yeah, uh, what's our roadmap look like for the next five years? Um, what, is our, what does the future park system look like? After all, the city is not what it was 10 years ago or even six months ago. The city's growing like crazy, so we got to keep up with that growth too. Um, we already see it you know, in the outlying parts of Sioux Falls. So, um, yeah, we're looking into those neighborhoods and trying to bring our services out there, uh, get the community what they want. Tomorrow at Carnegie Town Hall, you'll have a chance to hear about the recommendations, but it won't be your only chance. The way they do the process is they, they come forth with, uh, with their recommendations. Uh, they like to hear back from the city council, uh, from the citizens. We'll be going to uh, a, a public input meeting uh, Wednesday at 530. And that 5.30 meeting will be the Downtown Public Library. Tomorrow's City Council informational meeting begins at 4 o'clock. We're planning to be there, so you can look forward to coverage tomorrow night on Kelloland News. Okay, thanks, Dan.